Hi, hello and good morning. Today we are doing our exercises of practical life and I've got something interesting for you. It is called threading beads. Okay. At home, I want you might have be having shoelace, right? Either for your shoe or your papa's or daddy's shoelace, right? All we need that is that those shoelace, just one of it and some beads. I'll show you how to do that. Shall we start? Come. See, this is the shoelace that I have been talking about. One side it is knotted and the other side you will have the aglet there. Okay, it's called the aglet. This end of the shoelace is called the aglet. So, it will stand out like a stick. If it is not long enough for you, you might have to simply wind a tape around it a sticky tape around it and make it sometimes it will be only this much the aglet but if you want to make it longer so that you can put longer beads into it you will have to use sticky tape to make it longer the aglet will become longer and like I said we will need a lots of beads not just one so many beads with big holes or tinier ones also but we will start with bigger ones I show you the material that we have in school. The material we have in school is this. Instead of the aglet we have a wooden piece here. And it's instead of the knot I have a block here. Now see what I am going to do. In. Hold it release this pull it back let's try again in now hold it here take off this hand push it one more time put it in hold it here take off this hand and Pull it back. Okay. Like this you can make one string full of beads. Okay. You can also do it with the shoelace. For the shoelace hold the aglet. This is a long bead. Push it in. See that is why I said we need long aglets. Hold it here. Take this off. Push it back. in hold this push it back in hold it push it back hold always hold now you have a string of beads in this can you see that you can do it with so many beads like this. Now at home if you are not able to get the beads, it's okay. You can always make do with straw, paper straws or plastic straws that you have. Cut it, just cut it into small small tubes, little little ones. So that the child can use a straw for pushing through. Okay. If you wish you can even color the straws or use different colored straws and use pieces of it to get one long chain of uh, beads or in this case straw. If not this you can also try the pasta shells. You know the pasta the, the one which comes with a long tube yes that one you can uh, try it's called pen the pen pasta you can use that or you can also go for this uh, Kellogg's fruit loops are there no yeah it comes in circles like these like this it comes so these fruit loops also they can use it uh, if you wish to or you have anything like that which you can string them together that will be ideal now I'm going to show something for the M2 children let's see what we can do for them for them I have the threading of a needle their M2 children are now a little bigger you don't have to do the thing with shoelace if you wish you can do it for start but now we have to start threading a needle it is much thinner 
it's not like this anymore you are bigger children so you don't need thick ones we are moving to very fine thinner needle and i'll show you how to thread the needle come see i'm holding the needle by its pointed end and i have a thread in my hand and i'm going to put this thread right into the eye of the needle this is called the eye of the needle just like how you have eyes it goes into the eye of the needle now you see the thread slowly coming this side just pull it off like that okay give it one more try if it is not coming now you can practice this again and again okay see that it has come through the eye of the needle now you see what i'm going to do have only this much okay don't bend the whole thing the other end i want you to knot it this you can ask your mommy to help you to knot it for you okay like this you knot it and then use any beads that you have at home i've used a golden bead material it goes in so smoothly see when it comes here it will get to this end and it will stop let's do more okay right into the it goes very smoothly see can you see the there's a hole in the bead it goes into that like this you can practice and make a chain at home see if you wish you can also put two three beads together 1 2 3 4 and then move it together like this see that you can make a small necklace like this with different beads uh, colored beads or the same colored beads also here you go i made a small necklace with this thing okay you can also make it for yourself or for your mommy or your sister okay after you have done the threading of it you can give it to your mother she will knot it for you into a beautiful necklace okay now two things i want to tell you one is the kind of needle that you are going to use if you see the needle that i was holding is not all that pointed okay so when we are going to give it to the children we have to specially get this needle called the tapestry needle okay which the one which you use for uh, embroideries or for long stitch things like that it has a big lo a very wide eye very long and wide eye that will help the child for threading the needle itself i want them to practice the threading of the needle itself with this uh, tapestry needle if you think the needle is still sharp you can rub it on a rough surface and make it blunt but they'll have to try and do the threading part itself m to children secondly uh, i would prefer both m1 and m2 children to send me a snap a photo of their activity done as in if they have made this uh, uh, with a straw or with uh, pasta shells or with fruit loops send me a picture of them having accomplished the task and in case of m2 i'll be very happy if they show me a picture of their bracelet or necklace that they have made with this thing you can uh, use uh, either some um, old chains broken uh, necklace with beads in it or you can buy some beads and help them to definitely the girls will be having a lot of bracelets and things like that you can help them how to reuse it and make longer chains yeah i'll meet you all in another video until then bye bye